So the first uh, half of July was a slow one in terms of the release and the second one will not be different but we still have some uh, nice uh, releases uh, from now and then so uh, today we're gonna have a look at a pair of uh, Air Jordan 1 So let's go ahead and also take them out of the box. Okay guys, so today we're gonna have a look at the Air Jordan 1 Racer Blue. and welcome back for a brand new review uh, today we're gonna have a look at this uh, new color combination for the Air Jordan 1 which is called the Racer Blue so this one uh, was released in the second half of uh, July here in UK for a retail price of 110 pounds which is slightly more expensive than uh, uh, previous releases which were uh, just uh, under the 100 pounds mark so I'm not entirely sure uh, why this increased in price but uh, I guess people will still buy them so I guess uh, this year we didn't have as many uh, releases for this uh, Air Jordan 1 but this one uh, the Racer Blue it actually looks quite nice we have uh, a very nice color combination with this white black and blue and I actually have uh, the Royal Blue which uh, it's kind of similar with this one we don't have any white but this is uh, still a very nice color combination but I can go ahead and say that this one now it's my favorite this year uh, after the Comfort one which I have them here at the back so uh, unfortunately this one uh, even though they got more expensive uh, they didn't uh, use uh, more premium uh, materials so I'm actually a bit uh, disappointed uh, in the actual materials but uh, in the same time I really love this color combination so uh, I would say that 10 pounds is not a big drama so let's go ahead and see how this shoe looks as you can see here covering the toe box uh, at the front we have this uh, black leather which uh, then continues to the toe box leather in this white color which also has some perforation holes and uh, as you go uh, towards the leasing system uh, we have a full black leather with um, uh, black laces but just underneath these uh, laces uh, we can find uh, the same uh, tongue which you can uh, find in all of the Air Jordans nowadays uh, being this uh, uh, nylon material so uh, nothing changed here of course at the top we have the Air Jordan uh, tag and uh, as we uh, move uh, to the lateral and also on the medial side you can see that we have a white uh, leather uh, panel which on top of it has the Nike swoosh but this time uh, this one is not a leather material it feels like a suede but uh, not a real one it really feels like it's a synthetic suede or something I'm not entirely sure but uh, it's, uh, it's not as uh, the previous ones where you had uh, just uh, the leather ones and uh, this uh, material you can see that we also have it here in this blue color and also here at the top of the ankle section so um, I'm not a big fan of it but being in this uh, blue color at least uh, it looks nice but this being the mid uh, uh, version you can see that uh, it's not that high but uh, you still have a lot of layers here on top of each other so as you can see we have the black one at the bottom then some blue covering this white then some black again and then this uh, uh, synthetic uh, suede and of course here we have the wings logo in this uh, glossy blue color as you go inside you can see that we have uh, the same uh, padding and uh, lining as the previous one so nothing changed here uh, inside of course we're gonna have uh, the same black insole as uh, all of the Air Jordans as you know this one has an air zoom unit in the actual insole so uh, 
uh, it will be slightly more comfortable as you know this uh, midsole which is a rubber one it's uh, not uh, that soft so for sure that insole will uh, will help a bit and now we can go to this uh, white midsole which is uh, your normal uh, Air Jordan 1 midsole nothing changed here uh, this one is going to be in this uh, white color as you can see it's uh, stitched uh, throughout all of the length of the shoe and now we're gonna finish with this uh, black rubber outsole which uh, has uh, the same pattern as the previous ones as you know uh, this one uh, apparently it's the best uh, pattern uh, used ever in uh, in the Jordan shoes so uh, for sure they will not scrap it too soon so I would go ahead and say that this uh, color combination is actually one of the best released this year. I'm not very drawn to this uh, material used here in this uh, blue color, but uh, at least it's the right color, so uh, I guess uh, you'll just need to accept it or don't buy it at all. As in uh, for the actual sizing, uh, I went with my true to size, which I'm always uh, doing, and uh, I really feel that this one is actually uh, feeling uh, very nice. Uh, but for me, as I have uh, narrow fit I feel that here uh, at the front of the shoe I have some extra room which I don't actually quite like so uh, as usual uh, as I'm doing in my own Jordans uh, I will just put an extra insole and that will be just fine but I guess uh, if you have a narrow fit uh, you don't uh, need to go a half size up uh, this one uh, will be just fine so when I actually bought this one a few days ago, uh, it was just this color available, but uh, until I got uh, the actual delivery, I realized that uh, they've restocked uh, other colors as well. You can see them actually here in the corner and the prices will go from 99 to 110. Before uh, they were all the same, but for some reason they decided to, to change the actual pricing for different colors. But uh, overall, I really feel that this one is actually very balanced. It's uh, it's looking quite nice in this three-color combination. It also feels uh, comfortable enough in uh, in fit. Uh, if you already own Jordan One, uh, you know for sure this is not the most comfortable shoe in the world. But uh, for a few hours, I guess uh, it will do its job uh, just fine. And uh, as you have seen the, during the video, in my opinion, uh, this one really looks very nice. I guess not too many ugly Air Jordan 1s were released actually and for sure this one would not be one of them. So yeah guys, this was uh, the review of the Air Jordan 1 uh, Racer Blue. I really hope uh, you've enjoyed this video and uh, if you did don't forget to press the like button, maybe also subscribe to the channel and as always I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.